Do you use Cloudflare for an e-commerce website? If you are, there may be a chance that you're in violation of the PCI DDS standards um, set forth by Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover, and your business may be at risk. Hey, this is Yan Huang here. It's 4.54 a.m., so I gotta keep my voice down. Um, but just a little backstory. I used to work in the credit card processing industry. I used to sell the physical credit card machines as well as virtual terminals. Um, and there's this thing called PCI DDS compliancy, or sorry, PCI DSS compliancy. And these are basically rules set forth by Visa, MasterCard, American Express, uh, and Discover, and I believe one more. And what these are are standards for keeping credit card information secure, especially when it pertains to e-commerce websites. Um, now, I hate fear mongering, um, but when I worked there, uh, there were examples of businesses and some of them small businesses that made that they find, and the fines are really extensive. Um, and these fines can range anywhere from a few hundred dollars to up to over a hundred thousand dollars, which I also saw while I, I worked at the uh, credit card um, processing company or worked with them. I was uh, an independent uh, sales rep. But um, if you use Cloudflare for your e commerce website, check if what the SSL uh, configuration is set to. If it is set to use the flexible SSL, that is in clear violation of the PCI compliance standards. Um, if it it should be set to full SSL or preferably full strict SSL. And um, just a quick um, rundown of of which clause in the PCI. DSS compliancy that you would be violating. If you go to, if you just type in payment card industries data security standard uh, and you go to the Wikipedia page, um, under requirements, you see number four encrypt transmission of cardholder data across open public networks. Uh, what the Cloudflare flexible SSL. What that means is that the data, the payment information from your customers to Cloudflare is encrypted. But that information from Cloudflare to your website servers are not encrypted. So basically, for half of the journey of that data is unencrypted. And that is a clear violation of the PCI standards. So this is something that, um, uh, as I was looking into the PCI, the PCI standards for my own business, I realized that and how easy it is uh, for users of Cloudflare to be set to the flexible SSL, which is the default setting. So be sure to log into Cloudflare and check to make sure that your SSL is set to full or full strict. I'm not completely sure if full is um, completely PCI. Uh, compliant, but uh, full strict, I believe, is because with full, it could be a self signed um, SSL certificate. So if anybody does any funky uh, hacks into your web server, they can just create their own uh, self signed certificate, and that might cause um, security problems. If you use a third party SSL certificate, such as Komodo, such as GeoTrust, uh, Symantec, or even GoDaddy SSL, if you're on GoDaddy, um, then what that does is from your web server, it will validate with the certificate authority, which is where you purchase the certificate from. Um, that is the more secure way of uh, implementing it. And again, if you're using Flexible SSL uh, on your Cloudflare and you're accepting payment information that's a violation of the PCI uh, DSS standards and um, if you're using any kind of payment gateway and you take Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discovery, uh, they're really strict and they do 
um, do audits across our businesses to make sure that you're in compliance. And if you're not, um, your your bank or credit card processor will side with Visa, um, um, Mastercard, American Express, and Discover because without them, they wouldn't be in business. So just keep that in mind. I hope you found this um, video helpful. And again, if you're using Flexible SSL or Cloudflare, I don't mean to uh, be an alarmist and scare you, but this is a pretty serious thing and businesses um, I've seen have been uh, fined for uh, being in violation of the PCI DSS standards. So um, just keep that in mind and it's a pretty easy thing to um, to flip it to full or full strip uh, SSL and you can ask your webmaster or whoever is in charge of the website to help you with this. It's relatively straightforward um, and it will add an additional layer of protection for you and for your business. And if you found this helpful, please like this video. If you have any questions, please post uh, below. And uh, also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have tons of videos on digital marketing, including Google AdWords, SEO, and email marketing. Um, thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing.